Americans have to get on board, not just come to Hawaii and have a Mai Tai on the beach, but get under the water. When we started the Seahorse Farm, people said, you guys can't do it. Project Seahorse, you know, made a, a position statement, said it cannot be done. You know, we did it. So we proved everybody wrong. We met in uh, Ecuador in 1988. I was on a round the world trip, uh, but I only got halfway. We love seahorses, good. Hi. <laughs> Okay. My name is Clyde Tomorrow. I'm with the uh, University of Hawaii. I knew Carol from a long time ago, yeah? <laughs> yeah. You guys putting up everything that you have, right? Yep. So it's like yep. rolling the dice and, you know, here we go, go. Oh my God. <laughs> well, I think it's amazing because she's saving animals' lives. They didn't take any government grants. They didn't take any handouts. They wanted it to stay real independent. I had this dream one night and it was a seahorse. I was riding a seahorse through the water in a wave. It was uh, very hard going in the early days, but it was a matter of uh, conviction. We decided that we were going to do it, and we just went ahead with it. And there's the, the routine of the day, you know, which is fast here. It's very fast, because you've got so much time to get the feed ready, get the animals fed, and they eat, you know, all day long, it seems. The long-term impact is tremendous because she's raising awareness of the plight of the seahorse, and it's sad to see what's happening because of the overfishing that's taking place, you know, globally. Do you think there's other people around here with this attitude, like, these are my fish, get away? <laughs> we met because I got that. It's so political, and it's so emotional. People get so emotional about it on both sides. It's an emotional issue. Nobody wants to see the little fish uh, being taken and uh, put in an aquarium. I feel that we're making a difference. Um, and the reason I say that is because we have already changed the way the pet trade looks at farmed raised fish versus wild caught. They know now that you don't have to take fish out of the ocean. And they know that the technology is there um, it's just may not come from them. <laughs> it's going to come from people like myself. 